Okay, I'm really excited to present this podcast by, as is quite obvious, my favorite rapper of all time, Tupac Shakur. Now, the title of this um, lyrics is called Death Around the Corner, and it's from that really fantastic album from Tupac, Me Against the World, which was, which was in 1995. Now, I must tell viewers that there's going to be a lot of speculation, but what I'm hoping to do today is just basically unpack the lyrics. There'll be a lot of speculation. I will be giving my own interpretation of the lyrics, and hopefully we'll cover a lot about mental disorders and about vulnerabilities. Um, to have a, a better understanding of these lyrics, I would advise you to see Becky's podcast on the epigenetics. So the lyrics start off here. At the beginning of the song, there's a skit. There's a child, a mother, and a man. So it starts with the child saying, why, why you by the window? What's wrong with daddy? And then all of a sudden, you get this um, monologue from the, from the mother of the child, the partner of the man, where she accuses her partner of standing in front of the window and being totally consumed by what's happening outside the window. She accuses him of not working, of not having sex, of not having um, done anything in the house. Now, I'm going to give my interpretations for this. How do we interpret this part of the lyrics? Now, the topic is death around the corner. There's a possibility that this woman's partner needs to be worried. Maybe he's in an urban area where there's a lot of gang activity or robberies or where people easily get killed. That's a possibility. Another way of interpreting this might be that the partner in question is being paranoid in spite of there being no reason to be paranoid. And that brings us to the topic about where some people develop paranoid feelings. And sometimes those paranoid feelings can be part of a psychosis. Now, what's very, very interesting is that with psychosis, one of the theories of psychosis is that there's a dopamine dysregulation and that when there's too much um, production of dopamine, dopamine is a chemical in the brain that codes for um, salience, that codes for why things are important. Now, if there's too much production of this dopamine, what could happen is that someone sees what is a neutral stimulus or they see everyday happening, such as someone by, you know, outside buying an ice cream. If that dopamine is released too much in the brain, they then interpret that as being indicative that the CIA are after them because there's so much salience there and then they give an interpretation of it. Now, for someone who's grown up in the hood, they might see that as evidence of gang activity or they're going to be hurt. So one of the first things to remember is that a psychosis occurs within a context. So someone who develops delusions, say in Africa, due to the religious beliefs, there might be delusions about which is trying to hurt them. In South Central LA, in a gang-related area, it might be about the gangs wanting to get them. Okay, so I've emphasized that point. Now, in the, in the first verse, we get this sense of the community they're living. So it says, I see death around the corner. I got to stay high while I survive in the city where the skinny, I'm going to paraphrase it, brothers die. Now, this is very, very interesting because we get a snippet of the city. This seems to be an urban area and... The, 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 the partner who is basically telling the story um, says he's got to stay high in order to survive. Now, the reference to staying high might refer to a number of things. It might be the possibility that this person is using cannabis or using crack cocaine or cocaine. And as we know, these are risk factors for psychosis. The other thing that is interesting here is the reference to skinny. It's a place where the skinny brothers die. And one of the hypotheses of psychosis is this concept called social defeat hypothesis. And this basically says in particular areas, particularly in urban areas, where a particular person feels that they are an outsider or take up the subordinate position, such people are more likely to have a hypersensitive dopamine release. So what that means is if you're in a particular area where you're in a subordinate position, 
you might be at more risk of psychosis because you have a hypersensitive release of the dopamine. This is really interesting because there's been animal work which has basically shown that when you put rodents in a cage, the intruder rodent, if it's attacked by the cage rodent, they also display this increase in dopamine, dopamine release. And like I said earlier, do, excessive dopamine release, too much of dopamine release, might be a risk factor for delusions. So, so let's take that into account. So this seems that there might be the risk of psychosis. When we go on there, I've already mentioned about staying high. There is a question, what's happening to me? Um, am I paranoid? So it seems as if um, the person telling this story is wondering, am I paranoid, am I not? There seems to be some insight, you know, and we also know that he's by the window with his gun, willing to shoot. But he also says this sentence, ran out of endo and my mind can't take the stress, which implies that he's taking endo, a form of cannabis for his stress. Now that's very, very interesting, which we'll address when we look at the second verse. There's this whole debate about whether cannabis can precipitate psychosis. I've certainly had patients telling me that when they take cannabis, it's actually, they find it helpful for their voices, hallucinations, or for their paranoia. But I will address that in the second verse.